What up, peeps? KJ50 is in the building, and I'm here to review you guys a Black Ops 4 gun video. We're going to be talking about the ICR-7, and in my personal opinion, I believe that the ICR-7 is probably one of the most overpowered weapons in the assault rifle classes, in my personal opinion. I have not been able to play with the latest three assault rifles, which is the Rampart, the VPR, or the MAD, because I have not been able to unlock them yet, but I have been able to play with the KN-57, but obviously you'll be able to play with it when you first play with the game, because it comes with, like, you know, the regular classes but in my personal opinion i don't really feel like the kn isn't that good in my opinion i don't really think it's that powerful i might be wrong you know other people might like it but personally for me i feel like it's not that good i mean it's a well-balanced weapon but i just personally feel it don't have anything compared to the icr7 the icr7 is literally one of the most overpowered weapons so far in this game and i really do believe that it probably will be on one at the top of the on top of the food chain in the assault rifle classes in my opinion if Treyarch does not nerf the gun, but so far I've been having a lot of fun with the ICR. It's extremely good. The accuracy is good. The fire rate is pretty good. The range is a little bit decent, but the damage is unbelievable. And I'm going to be giving you guys a little best class setup as well in the class setup that I do use with the ICR to make this gun even more powerful than it already is. And I know it's a little bit early to even be talking about best class setup videos, but I just, I just really think you guys should try this gun out and for the people who do try it out or for the people who already have all the other assault rifles unlocked let me know what you guys think is the most overpowered but personally i think the icr is extremely overpowered but without further ado we're going to jump straight into the attachments that i use the perks and also the gear that i use so starting off with the attachments starting off with the optic i do use the reflex sight i use the reflex sight because i feel like it's just a lot it's, it's, it's very simple obviously the reflex sight has been in all the call of duties but it's just extremely simple with the 1.5 x metal magnification just because it's not too long and it's not too short it's just that it's just perfect for me i have not been able to use the holographic or the red dot multi-zoom or the recon force but i stuck with the reflex because i like it simple and i feel like the reflex does a lot of justice for what it is so far and now starting off with the very first attachment that i use i do use quick draw Obviously, a lot of people are familiar with Quick Draw. It's been in Call of Duty for as long as that we've known. Uh, it's, 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 for, for, for the people who are new to it, it increased the ADS speed, and I feel like it is extremely, extremely helpful, especially when you're just when you get into gunfights. You can bring your gun up right on time, and you can kill people just like that. And then the second attachment that I use is Grip. Now, Grip is extremely useful, obviously, because it increases the accuracy of your weapon. It don't give you that much recoil. It reduces a lot of the recoil, and it just makes the gun into a laser gun. I'm telling you, it's just extremely good, very well accurate. And you, I'm, I'm guaranteed if you are extremely, you know, accurate with your shots, I'm guaranteed you'll get the kill just like that in less than two to three shots tops. Now, next, next, the next attachment that I do use, I use the AP rounds. Now, the AP rounds is probably one of the best, best attachments that i've been using in this on this gun because it destroys enemy armor like it's nothing it shreds it it makes it easier to get the kill because as you guys know the armor is really overpowered in my opinion i will be making a video about that on later down the line when i do uh, bring out another video but i do believe that the enemy armor well the, the armor in general is just an overpowered gear to have because you know it takes a, a minute to even get the kill on because dude especially due to the time to kill but i just feel like the armor itself is just extremely extremely you know overpowered so it takes all the bullets and it just people just slays you just like that but with the ap rounds it destroys enemy armor like it's nothing and then increased damage to equipment and also vehicles i really it's just i don't know the ap rounds is extremely useful especially when you're going into gunfights when people have armor i really 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 recommend using that and like i said before you don't necessarily have to go with these attachments you can you know you can try other things but i guarantee you that if you use these attachments you will literally slay on the battlefield but and on top of that going over to you know the the recoil i mean the the reticle sites just to let you guys know that i do record you you can use any other re, uh you know any other sites that you want but i do recommend using the reflex site because like i said it's very simple and it's not too hectic now moving over to the perks that i do use uh for perk number one i use cold-blooded obviously it, it, it makes you resistant to you know the abilities of equipment and the score streaks so i really feel like that's very useful especially when you're trying to go on your streaks and then for perk two i do use scavenger 
the, I feel like yeah, the ammo capacity on the ICR is really good. It's not too bad, but it can run out quicker because you will find yourself no, not reloading too much, but you will be reloading. But I do recommend using Scavenger because, you know, you'll be able to pick up the ammo and get your ammo right on track. You'll be able to get right back into the fight. You don't have to worry about, you know, scavenging around for ammo. And last but not least for Perk 3, I do use Ghost. You know, Ghost is very useful, especially for people who use Vision Post or people who use, who use UAV because I know UAV is extremely common in this game. A lot of people do use UAV and, you know, some people are pretty good. They'll probably get the higher streaks, but UAV is probably one of the most common used things in this game uh, so far that I've been, you know, playing in the beta. But I do recommend using Ghost because, you know, if you want to get your streaks and stuff like that, you'll be immune and undetectable when UAV happens or, you know, vision posts and sensor darts and stuff like that. So I do recommend using that. And then last but not least for the gear that I do use, I do use the stem shot because, like, like I said before, when you're in, you know, close combat gunfights with people, you're going to find yourself healing a lot. Obviously, this game, you heal a lot. I mean, a lot. Consistently, you always have to heal yourself just because when you're in that gunfight, nine times out of ten, you're going to be at, you know, a little bit of a one shot compared to the other person once you win that gunfight. So I do recommend getting the stem shot because once you heal yourself, you heal yourself extremely fast and you get yourself right back on site. But that, there you guys have it. That is the class setup that I do use for the ICR. And like I said before, I think the ICR-7 is probably, if not one of the best guns so far in this beta i mean at least out of the assault rifle like i said i could be wrong for people who did unlock all the other assault rifles but so far in my personal opinion i think the icr is literally the slay god it's, it's probably the dopest weapon that i use so far in the game but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you have not already more great black ops 4 videos is coming soon so just stay tuned with that and i cannot wait to be bringing you guys a lot more videos it's really dope and i really feel like black ops 4 black ops 4 is really a fun game but I will be giving more details about what I think about that later down the line in my video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. More great videos coming soon. And I'll see you guys in the next one.